Hi guys and welcome to Raffalina's American Girl Doll channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be um, unboxing the American Girl uh, Makina Williams and she's part of the World by Us collection. I went ahead and just took the, the kind of cover part of the packaging off just because it can be kind of sticky to get out of the uh, package. Um, it's very tight. Um, but she's part of the World by Us collection. Um, her packaging on the outside let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Um, has her her uh, little picture and um, her logo. So this is going to be her logo in future. It has a butterfly, um, but the butterfly is sort of two hearts intertwined, which I think is really cute. I'll just zoom in on that for a second just so you can see it. it has the same pretty background print that all the World by Us dolls have um, and it says as seen by in World by Us which makes it seem like there's going to be a little YouTube TV movie um, and uh, again it has the um, star pattern on the side here um, which is I think completely new for the World by Us collection so let's look a little bit at the doll so she has a new face mold and I think she's really gorgeous, so she's in the box right here. I haven't taken her out yet. Um, I'm going to do, at the end of the video, a little comparison between her uh, flesh tone and my Addy doll, and also Josefina, who I think is um, also a darker skin uh, doll. And then I have Maritza as well, part of the Robot S collection, and the CYO doll, who's uh, my Ina doll, which I'm going to link up in the top, the um, videos of those openings. And uh, she's a skin tone 20 doll, just so you can kind of compare a little bit. Mikina is a new face mold. Um, and all three of the dolls have, um, as you can see here, they have, um, I guess you could call it um, mascara on, uh, but it's permanent. And so when you close their eye, um, you can see it. Um, and I think it makes them look cute. It definitely makes them look older. These dolls are supposed to be 13 and not 8 years old like the other American Girl dolls. Um, actually, I think the other American Girl dolls are, are 10 years old and they're supposed to be 13. So they're all supposed to have been born in 2008, um, which makes them uh, 13 years old in 2021. and 2022, they will be 14. So they're kind of in that transitional period of like 8th grade-ish. So we're going to go ahead and open her out of her box, get her out, and then we'll get a little closer look maybe again at her. Um, so she comes with the book, See Me, Hear Me, Know Me, um, and there's an insert. And for this doll, unlike the other two, you know, there's the little hair clips underneath. So make sure you take those out and don't throw them out when you throw out this plastic packaging. So this is the book. It's written by Denise Lewis Patrick. Um, it's a pretty purple color. Again, like the other books, it's black and white, except it's in the beginning. It, there's some color images and um, a cute picture of the three girls um, at what I think is their community center. And there's a couple of um, color pictures, and then it moves into the black and white pictures. There are pictures throughout. And then at the end, there's some color again, and there's a picture of... Um, Makina. I call her Makina. Uh, she's supposed to be Makina, but I kind of like Makina sound sound Makina better than Makina, but uh, and that's Yvette and Maritza and there's some let me pull back a little bit more information and there's that um, race inclusion book which um, it has been a theme in the World by Us collection which was something I had kind of predicted I had thought was be related and uh, I can link in some of my old theories about that and that's the other two dolls um, advertised and that's the book they're uh, I think a little bit on the shortest side so they're uh, 87 pages is how long that book is so they're a little bit shorter um, you can see it kind of on the side also there's this world bios coloring on the, the edging just like on the packaging okay so I got some scissors I'm gonna start to um, take her out and do the sides I'm gonna start right there hands a little bit closer. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about with McKenna um, is that she is a new face mold 
and I think um, American Girl was a bit um, overdue for a new face mold, in my opinion. Um, they the last time they came out with well, they had the Joss face mold last year, but um, then they had Nanea. Um, so I guess they have come out with a new face mold sort of recently, but um, kind of feel like the last time they really did a very very new face mold was Nanea, um, and that was in. I think 2017. Sauce is just kind of a variant of the classic face mold um, with kind of the issue with the ears um, and a little just like slightly different. Uh, we're gonna down her feet and get her feet um, unboxed. I'm just gonna clip these side things. Um, yeah so I'm really excited that they did come out with a new face mold and um, just because it's nice to have some more diversity in um, the American Girl collection series and so really excited about that and I actually saved her for the last because I was the most excited to open her um, and I wanted her to be kind of the, the final one, the finale of the world by us and so I'm going to take off this neck thing um, which keeps them all strapped in quite tightly here and Hopefully it doesn't connect. Okay, good. Awesome. Um, I always get a little bit nervous that the wig will get, like the hairnet will get stuck to, um, to the box. So she's out. Now I'm going to take out her, like some of the protective cover. I'm going to look a little bit at her dress. So a couple of people mentioned online that her dress may have been a little bit cheaper because her wig was expensive. And that's a possibility, I suppose. Um, I really like the skirt, um, and I'm glad that there's a matching girl version. I think that's really exciting. Um, the shirt is cute and that it says, see me, hear me, know me. And I think I like that, and I like the butterfly and the heart. It is like a black t-shirt, basic black t-shirt. Um, it's a little flipped up there. I don't know, I don't think that's on purpose. Or maybe it is on purpose. Um, actually that looks like that is on purpose, so... One detail that I haven't seen people mention online, let me just zoom in on it, is the t-shirt. Um, let me see if, let me just lift her up and make, make her, bring her closer to the screen. Hopefully this will focus. There's a little dot here. There's a little thing that's stitched in. Focus. It's going to take a little second. So you see the little mark there? So this is actually stitched and actually designed this way that the shirt flips up and folds over. So there's a, let's see if I can show it like that. So there's a, um, an edging there. Um, and that's actually kind of nice. Um, and that's on both sides. And I hadn't noticed that from online. I couldn't tell. I thought actually that was just packaging, like that it flipped up. But actually, that's by design, and that's actually kind of makes the t-shirt a little bit less plain. Otherwise, if you can kind of see there, it's sort of a screen print, I think, where they just, um, you could almost make this yourself if you had an iron-on and you just iron it on over a basic black t-shirt. Um, but it does have that nice little edging here, which makes it not just your basic black t-shirt. Um, on the back, so someone had asked me this with another doll, so I'm going to show it maybe on her. So they do not have, so they don't have, um strings so they're not like 35th anniversary um america girl doesn't really do the neck strings anymore there's a zip tie and in all of my dolls it's on the rightish side it does pierce almost piercing through the cloth fabric there if you can see that little mark actually for mckenna there's like almost a little hole there for the other dolls it was a little bit more not as noticeable but it does kind of bump there's a bump there it's not directly in the middle so it doesn't create a strange humpish thing um although it is a little bit like that um the i don't think it's particularly a thin fabric there is a couple of extra pieces of stitching there to keep it in the dolls so far have said copyright 2017 on their bodies i can just verify that for my kina in a second here um here let me zoom zoom out so you can see a little better so the t-shirt is also a little bit, here, I'll make her say hi. I love when dolls say hi. 
Um, her t-shirt's actually a little bit on the longer side, so if you pull her t-shirt out of her skirt, it's tucked in. Um, it's not, it's not that short, so, um, Maritza's shirt was a bit on the shorter side because it was athletic wear, so hers isn't, and hers, I think it will say, uh, should say on here, yeah, copyright 2017, you bring her forward so you can see that. Twenty seventeen and all the dolls so far I've seen my three dolls anyway. Twenty seventeen and they have the basic um truly me underwear. So I'm just gonna leave her shirt untucked because it's a little easier. But there is this nice gold glittery waistband. Um there's no should probably point out there's no elastic here on the side, it's just um a elastic and it's it's pretty thick. Um, it's kind of has a nice feel to it. The skirt has a nice sleekness to it and there's no weird There's pleating, but there's no bubble effect and by bubble effect I will show you what I mean so Bubble effect is like when you have my create your own here uh, Ina and she has this new skirt by American Girl and in the back, there's nice pleating, but it, it it bubbles and sticks out, making her look kind of like she has a funny shaped bottom. And also it puckers here as well, so it puckers here, and it puckers in the back. Um, let me move my hand down so you can see it. And this is the Mix Max collection. I can link it up in the top. I can put Ina here on the side. Um, it might be useful for comparison purposes. But the pleatings on Makena's skirt don't do that, which is nice. They're a little bit, they're kind of similar in terms of the tightness, I think, of the pleat. Um, so it's just not shiny. They're just, they're just kind of more basic cloth. Um, about the shoes, so a couple of people have mentioned thinking they were cheaper. Uh, I don't really know, like, I don't know how much like these would cost versus the other shoes. Um, I would just say they have a... Um, maybe I should take off the little plastic thing, but there's a, a little ribbon here and then it's a hard plastic and uh, There's a heel to them. Oh wait Not in screen anymore. All right, so there's a heel to it and it is like a hard plastic See if it, I think it focused on that so you can see that I think they look cute I think they're okay. They're not my favorite shoes. I like her skirt a lot. So her skirt is my favorite piece of her outfit. I like the detailing on that shirt um, that I didn't know. And I do kind of like having more t-shirts in general. Okay, so now is the best part, and sorry for taking so long to get to this part, but is the actual um, removal of the hair wig part. So I'm going to put her hand down so it doesn't... Um, I should say her eyebrows are a little bit different as well. Her lips are kind of have a darkish red to them. Um, so she does kind of look like she's wearing makeup, but not as much as like Maritza. Maritza looks like she's wearing a lot of makeup. Yvette looks like a little bit, and McKenna is like a little bit as well. So a little bit more tasteful, in my opinion. Um, and now for the hairnet. Ah, most exciting part. This is a new, not in addition to a new face mold, this is a new wig for American Girl. So it's also exciting to see what it's like. And her hairnet kind of came out pretty easily. Um, okay, so let me bring her a little closer. Looks like a lot of people got my cane out too, so that's exciting. So. So he has a bunch of rope braids. Um, like a little, I don't want to call it a hole. It's not a hole. It's like they're not laying flat really. <laughs> they have to like 
move them around and there's a lot of them and there's a lot of hair in general so um and there's like shorter ones and then longer ones so it is like her hair is sort of um layered in that sense so there's like a little shorter one here there's longer ones here let me just make sure that okay yeah it is coming out i wanted to make sure that you guys could get some look of the color of the wig um there's a little bit of um a reddish tinge and i think that means her hair is not the super black color it's like uh dark brown but maybe a little bit on the darker dark brown side okay so her hair has i would call it dark brown slash black um and because i think there's a little bit more of this reddish this might just be the new black color wig um in terms of um the coloring so i have another doll uh treating 42 i think i'm gonna grab her in a second um who has the i think it's the darkest black uh hair color wig and this is um i think it's 42 she has green eyes um she's a retired truly me doll i'm gonna put her next to you to McKenna for a second um she has the the darkest black color um that American Girl used to make and they're pretty close in terms of color but I do think there's a little little red undertones in in McKenna's and that might just be me and that might be something going funny with my lighting but I don't think so um and they may have just changed kind of how they do it. So that's something to to note. Um, but my real kind of comparison I wanted to do was also with Annie. Um, because people said she looks young. McKenna, you know, I can't decide if she looks young. Um, I think the makeup kind of makes her look a little bit older. So here's her with my custom doll. Um, Ina. And, um, you know, her bangs are messed up, but, you know, it's, I don't think she looks necessarily young. Um, it's not really how I'd describe it. Um, I think she looks more happy than your typical, um, American Girl doll, but I also have Addie here, and she's in the, the special edition 1997 tilting outfit and I'll link that up in the top as well the opening of that outfit let me see if we can get Addie to focus properly my Addie doll has some of the silver eye going on because she's an old pleasant company doll and um if we bring her in the camera in close I'm gonna look with them side by side um McKenna's eyes are definitely more open. Um, this is the old eyebrows where they're just the line brows. Her eyebrows are a lot thicker. Um, her nose is less pointed and there's more of a point to Addie's nose. And it's a little bit shiny at the front of Addie's nose. Whereas hers is less pointed I would say. I think there's a little bit more coloring pronounced in the lip. Um, and I think also her smile, um, there might be more definition and more of a, of a poutiness maybe to the, to her lower lip than Addie has. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, and, but again, I don't think this looks like the difference between young and an old it looks more like the difference between having makeup on and not having makeup on um anyway put in the comments what you guys think and please remember to comment like and subscribe let me know what you guys think i do think mckenna looks really cute um i i think having them both in your collection would be amazing and seeing them side by side i think the flesh tones might be the same exact um coloring um in terms of the depth 
There might be a little bit of rosiness here, but Addie also has rosiness to her cheeks, so. Uh, and if you want to see the side profile, um, see, are they both in focus? Let me turn it a little bit. Um, you can see Addie's nose and face in general. There's more definition in terms of. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, my Addy kind of fell over. <laughs> um, so if you turn to the side, you can kind of see there's more um, definition, I think, on the side um, from the profile for Addy. This is, but again, this is a Pleasant Company Addy, I should note. I'm um, not a be for everyone. Um, and there's um, McKenna's profile. Reminds me more of Nanea, who I'm going to show her compared to in a second. Um, Addie's, there's more, you know, her features kind of more, more pointed and less sort of rounded. And um, from the side, Addie kind of looks happier. But from the forward, I think Makina looks a little bit on the happier side than um, Addie. And um, so that's Makina forward. Um, let me show Nanea in a second. Here's Nanea. She is her profile. I don't know why I'm having trouble. All right, so let me put her here kind of to the back so you can see her profile. So Nanea's profile is her face is more flat, I think, than McKenna. But it's kind of similar. Um, if you look at them forward, I'm trying to do this so you can see them both easily. Uh, I would say in terms of face mold, Kena's is probably the closest to Nanea's face mold. It's a little bit different. It's a variant of it, but it's kind of maybe the most similar. McKenna looks a little bit taller here because her shoes have heels. But there's a certain sloping, I think, of the forehead. I think it's the forehead is the same between Anaya and McKenna. And then... Oops. Um, yeah, the nose is a little bit too in terms of their profile. And uh, in terms of the front part... Um, I think McKenna has a little bit more of a bulb to the front of her nose, but actually still fairly similar in terms of their nose. And then it's more her cheeks are fuller than Nanea's are longer and a little bit less full. Um, but I would have said probably a variant of Nanea in terms of the face mold. And one thing to note is Nanea also has um, some amount of face paint so up on the top of her. Um, and just zoom in so you know what I'm talking about. You close Nanea's eyes. She has, well, she has these pretty green eyes. But, or they're actually hazel. But if you close it, there's, um, shadowing and very, very light. Um, like mascara up on the top part of her eye. And then there's also, um, to the side, there's a little bit of markings. And below her eye, there's some markings as well. And so, McKenna has a lot more makeup on than Nanea. And Nanea's is more matched to her eyebrow color. Whereas McKenna, and all of the World by Us dolls, it's more of a black kind of color to the makeup, which makes it look like mascara. I think it's supposed to be mascara. I don't, American Girl didn't explicitly say it was supposed to be mascara. Anyway, so there is McKenna near Nanea. And I already showed her near Addie. They have pretty much the same flesh tone as Addie, I would say, McKenna does. Um, her hair, again, let me just a little bit more for you guys um, but it's really pretty thick um, each has these little clasps on the bottom I'm gonna turn it so that it's a rope 
braid so it's two pieces twisted around each other you could um that's about the thickness of one when you feel the ends and this is something i was kind of curious about um feels like it might be like a light textured hair not necessarily as textured as Addie's but I'm not entirely sure what would happen if you took them out uh, if you took one out I would experiment with just one if I was to take one out I will just pick one and take it out and see what happens but there is some little loose hairs that come out of it do you think it's textured hair it feels a little bit rough at the ends like it's probably textured hair American Girl used um, and not straight hair because I know some people were wondering is it straight hair that's just put into these rope braids but I think it is textured hair I'm not a hundred percent certain so I would have to experiment with her hair and I'm a little bit worried about that because she's a brand new doll and I think she looks super cute the way she is so I may leave that to another video if I ever end up doing that um, I should say I almost forgot to pull her little gold clippies in it's getting a little bit dark so I want to and this video has been very long so they're plastic uh, butterfly clips they look like butterflies and they're also like a butterfly they um, have the little claw thing and then you're meant to like put them in their hair like so and I think they look really pretty um, and I think overall she's very very pretty very cute and unique and not like my other dolls. Oh, I think I'll put this one on upside down. I didn't know there was really an upside down to them, but there is actually to these butterflies. So there's like an upside down and then, so it makes her look cute. And I think she's supposed to be into fashion and making her own clothes and stuff like that. I think that's also a cute theme um, because I'm kind of into sewing. And I think a lot of people in the American girl community are. So welcome, McKenna, to my collection. Um, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe down below and um, hit the notification bell. And I really hope you enjoy my channel and I really love interacting with you guys. And I hope you guys are all as excited and thrilled about this World by House collection as I am. I'm hoping that their outfits come out soon so I can purchase them. Um, they're available online, but they're pre-ordered for February, so I haven't ordered them yet. Um, there is some girl versions of her skirt that you can get and... Um, I might get some, but anyway, uh, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you think, and if you enjoyed this video, and, um, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Okay, bye!